Welcome to Down the Vent. I'm Josh. This is Steve. That's Joe. We're doing our top 10 of 2019 most anticipated games for us. That was a little out of order, but sure, yeah. What? The, 2009, the most anticipated games of 2019. No, stick and do it. Whatever I said. <laughs> Whatever I said. If you yeah. chop up and rearrange those words, they make a sentence that barely makes sense. But right. A sentence. They make uh, a sentence. Uh, and, um, you know, Joe, we, gave, we, we picked good. We picked yeah. good. Go ahead. We, we gave no prerequisites for this list, except that the game was supposed to be released in 2019. Yep. Um, it could have already came out this year, because we're doing this a little bit later than most people. Um, and it could also be like a first time being released in America in 2019 as well. I don't think we had any really rules around it. Just like it can be expanded. There, there was discussion it. about that and, and that kind of thing. Technically, I I, I don't have any. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't like think I have any anniversary edition. Yeah, I don't have anything like. like I don't think I actually have any re, reprint. I don't think I actually have anything. Like all the stuff that would have been reprints of something and whatever else, I actually moved. I was. I decided I wouldn't do that. But I'm not saying I don't have an expansion. Or I two. almost had one. <laughs> Spoiler. Yeah. I remember the last second. Yeah. Onto so, our list. Yeah. Onto our number tens. <laughs> Number ten game. Don't get hyped like me. Yeah, <laughs> it <laughs> was just recently announced. It's from Ravensburger. Oh, yes. Mm. It is a one versus all game, and there's actually two games. You do one thing, and then you flip the board over, and you play the second half of the game. It is Jaws, the board game. Oh. Is what? it by uh, the guy that's always about sharks? What's his name? I don't, I don't Shark think Island? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think the, so. The guy starts always talking about that. But like, in the first part of the game, you're, you're, it's like a hidden movement game for Jaws, and you're trying to locate where he's at. Oh, and okay. then you flip it over once you find him, and you're on the boat trying to actually fight Jaws. So, so um, just out of curiosity, is it made by the same people who did the uh, Friday the 13th kind of game? No, it's made by Ravensburger. Right, no, no, but, but I mean, like, designers-wise. Oh, I'm not sure who the designers are. Okay, I'm just, uh, no, I'm just um, curious. Uh, I well, I've never see, gotten to try that one, and I've, I know, I you know, try mixed that reviews, too. but still. I, I did see someone talk about this on Facebook, and they tagged it, I'm going to need a bigger game show. Oh. And they're like, gonna need a bigger boat? Gonna need a bigger, bigger game, game show. show. Nice. I was like, oh, I love that. That should be on the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna need a bigger game show. Yeah, but then you don't want to. You don't want to overpromise that. Kind of <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like, what is that compared to? You don't want to see the game. Exactly. That, you know, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, that is my number ten. Jaws. I'm very nice. excited. So yeah, no, I have that one. I didn't even hear about. So that's awesome. Yeah, just got announced. Yeah. yeah. All right, Steve. Um, <clears throat> we're doing so, this crazy one. <laughs> Josh's order. Jo Josh made the decision. Yes. Okay, so my number 10 is a combination of nostalgia um, and uh, generally amazing components. Uh, and that would be the Wacky Races, the board game, uh, coming um, from CMON. Yeah. Um, CMON generally doesn't do too bad. I super remember, as far as the components go, that's understandable. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, they do good on their components. Their games tend to be pretty good or excellent. Um, and uh, I remember watching those mo those uh, cartoons, even though technically they had come out in the 60s, like late 60s, early 70s. I was born in 73. The thing about it is, is I remember because that was on reruns all the time and everything. Yeah. I, I remember all those people from it. Right. And the it's, thing about it is... Santa Barbera, like cartoons, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so um, if you remember, do you guys remember Laugh Olympics maybe? Because that was on like... The reason why is because that was on uh, Boomerang and things like that oh, for a long time, right? Yeah. Anyways, it's all the people that were like in either yo like there was a Hanna Barbera of any sort, mm -hmm. and then it was uh, any of these like like Cannonball Run. You remember that movie at all, or any of those like that? Okay, right. So it's the same type of deal. You're all just trying to race, but of course it was all those characters, and one team was bad guys, and one team was good. But actually, it was like two man teams. Yeah. So yeah. And apparently the game's supposed to be the same way. Um, they had the miniatures and stuff at, at uh, Gen Con last year. You know, they made it all up. Yeah. I got pictures of all that stuff. And as soon as I showed anybody that, like, a bunch of my friends that are, you know, around my age, they were like, is that Wacky Races? You know, they were all excited, you know. <laughs> I, they, they were more excited for that kind of a thing than they were for, like, a Fireball Island. Yeah. Because it just was, yeah, you know. Yeah, it, nice. yeah, it hit that hard nostalgia. And, and again, a race game. 
I mean, I feel like race games are, you got to try to kind of mess them up hard. You know what I mean? Like, you can have a decent race game without a ton of effort. So, I mean, I'm pretty excited about the idea of it. Especially since it should be, like, fighting and stuff. I'm hoping it's yeah. a little bit like a, uh, like a kind of a board game version of uh, Mario Kart. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, I'm too. really hoping to something yeah. like that. That'd be okay. funny. Yep. So that was Wacky Wacky Races, Simon, sometime this year. Josh. My number 10 is Kingsburg the Dice Game. Mm, nice. By nice. Giochi Un... I can't pronounce that. Uniti? Sure. Giochi Uniti. Yeah, sure. Probably. So if you're ever playing Kingsburg, it's a dice rolling kind of dice placement game. So you place your dice, what you rolled, and then you get to take those actions on it. So, kind of same game. You gather resources, construct your buildings, prepare your defenses. So, uh, throwing the board out and yeah, just throwing all dice. Yep, all dice. <laughs> uh, um, Kingsburg is in your hands. The future of Kingsburg is in your hands in this game. So, yeah, pretty much. I like dice games. It's a dice game. And it's a dice game of Kingsburg, which is a dice game. You're right. You you guys played Kingsport Festival with me once, yep. right? The Cthulhu one? Yep. yep. Almost the same game as Kingsburg, if yep. you haven't played Kingsburg, yeah. like very similar. Super, super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I've actually not gotten to play Kingsburg itself, yeah. but the other one that's like that is, um, what's, there's another one that just recently, oh, uh, Alien Frontiers is the other one. Mm. And of course that, there's a Kickstarter for that coming from, you know, like that. But, but that, but yeah, generally speaking, that's it. But yeah, it's interesting because it's a dice game and they're making it into Kingsburg. The dice game. Yeah, except the dice game is more—it's more of a dice worker placement, yeah. much more so than that's going to be. You know? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my number ten. Uh, Kingsburg, the dice game by Gyochi Uniti. Okay, on to our number nines. My number nine is nostalgic for me. Mm. Ah, it is not Wacky Races though, or Wacky Racers, or whatever it's called. It is '90s cartoons. Mixed with almost what looks like Arcadia Quest, but a simplified version of like a like an easier version to play of Arcadia Quest. It is Nickelodeon Splat Attack. I was gonna say Splat Attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they even yeah. have a Reptar expansion where I believe you all fight against Reptar, almost like Arcadia Quest has the dragons. Yeah. yeah. But in this one, you're throwing like slot or you're, it's a food fight, so yeah. you're throwing food at each other, yeah. and that's how like you. Yeah, they had that uh, video game that was like that too. There was a there was a for, what was it? For like, I want to say maybe Xbox, the, like the original Xbox or that era, yeah. there was actually like a game that had a bunch of those type of things and you'd a little, there was like a food fight in the, in the uh, thing yeah. and you had to, like, it was crazy though because it had, uh, what was the one with the kids that rollerbladed and all that stuff? Uh, that, 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 where the, the, the dad and, the dad and the, uh, friend like raised him and whatever else and it was like three, um, they, they lived in Hawaii. That was the other thing about him. Oh, man, I can't it think of it. Past my, my this would have been... Was it a cartoon or was it no, live it's a ca- action? No, it's a cartoon. It's a Nickelodeon cartoon. Huh. And it, yeah, like, there was just a bunch of those type of ki- things in there. Sorry. Okay. I didn't so this has, like, Rugrats, Cat Dog, uh, Red <coughs> and Stimpy, uh, Invader Zim, nice. a lot of the old classic yeah. uh, Nickelodeon yeah. cartoons. Yeah. Very excited for it. The minis look fantastic. I can't wait to get them. I think I'm going to paint them. I just got an email today that says that the boat is nearing the, the coast or the shores or nice. whatever. So, so another two nice. weeks. <laughs> yeah, still. <laughs> the, the only March, one to two yeah, years. March. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So. But uh, it is getting close. So I'm very excited. That is from IDW Games, by the nice. way. Mm-hmm. And that is Nickelodeon Split Attack. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, that's going to that's, that's be I'm excited. Um, okay, so. How do you make a lift like that with a slide? Um, I just made mine in Sam's like, no. Like in my Sam's like, notepad. And I just copied the link to the BGG article and bang, bang, bang. Nice. And I just rearranged those, li- those, those links. Smart man. Yeah. I occasionally. For more information on how to use phones, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. tune into Steve's channel. <laughs> yeah. Steve's phone talk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, boys and girls. No, <laughs> never mind. Anyways. Oh, um, so, um, so, my number nine is a game that, depending on actually how good it is, could easily be my top. Top of 2019. Okay. It could easily You're be my top. it already. Yeah, well, yeah. because here it is. Yeah. Uh, Century, A New World. Yeah. Because uh, I like both of the others. Yeah. Okay. I love the combo game. Yeah. And this essentially creates like five more games out of it. I recently got to try Spectre Ops. Loved it. I I like Reef really well. Um, like really Emerson Matsuchi, there's almost nothing that he's done that, I, that I've tried yeah. that I didn't really enjoy, right? 
And I liked uh, Eastern Wonders a little better than Spice Road. I liked the combo game even better than that, or at least close to it. Yeah. And so I'm really excited to see that last piece slide into place. And my hope is that once you put it all together, while it'll definitely be more complex than any single piece of it, it should still flow really fast. I mean, to me, it's it's more that you know, like obviously, it's more than expansions. I mean, uh, it it kind of is almost like it's kind of five oh four, far <laughs> less ambitious, and 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 all the way along pretty good. You know what I mean? If you get my draft, you know, yeah. and and so I'm really excited to see it. I really haven't paid that close of attention to it, but um, but if but if I do end up uh, making it to Origins with you guys. I will definitely try it there because that's where it's first, first supposed to be available. I really expected this to be higher on your list. The only reason why <laughs> it's not is, here's the thing. I feel super confident this is going to be great. Yeah. So so so, what my anticipation is, like, man, I really want to play this. But I'm so, I feel very confident that I'm not going to be that, dis- like, it's going to be great. I'm not going to worry about it, you know. Uh, the other things that I have higher... <laughs> I so want them to be so good, you know, like oh, that, you know, it's yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, so, yeah, gotcha. so my anticipation is like, please let them be good. Please, I'm yeah. excited, but please don't let them fail me. Yeah, 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 yeah very okay. much so, very much so. So, uh, Century, A New World, uh, Emerson Matsuchi, and it's... Uh, uh, Planet B? Or uh, Plan B. B. Plan, Plan B, B. Yeah, Plan, Plan B games. B. Hey, yeah, call yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Josh. Go ahead. Number Ready? nine. My number nine is Fantastic... Factories. It is a self-published game. I saw this when I was scrolling through BGG, and I was like, "Oh my god, look at all these dice!" Yeah, I was like, "Josh has to know about this um, one." Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I kickstarted it actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Exactly. All right, I didn't uh, know. Yep, what? I kickstarted it. Oh, Do you know when oh, it's supposed mind. to be here? About May 2019. I okay, I just okay. wondered. You know what I mean? Um, so pretty much, you race to manufacture the most goods or build the most prestige buildings. There are elements of dice rolling, worker placement, engine building, resource management, tableau buildings, simu- uh, simultaneous, simultaneously playing, and uh, some card drafting. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, so the last like, part it said was uh, and some card drafting. And some card drafting. And some card drafting. <laughs> and some card drafting. Um, yeah, uh, love it because, once again, dice worker placement is just, I enjoy that so much. As a quick aside, do you guys, how often, if you're going to, Back up, like, I mean, unless you already know what it's about, mm-hmm. how often do you guys watch a video for a game that's on Kickstarter if you're considering it? Like, I watch you don't it. already know for sure. Oh, well, I watch it even if I know I want to back it. I yeah. should watch it. Interesting. Normally, what I'll do is if I see a game that looks interesting, I'll do the heart, mm-hmm. and then, like, later that night or whatever, when I have some time, I'll go back through all my hearts and I'll sit there and I'll, like, check out the video. And then if the video interests me, then I'll actually go to the campaign page. And if it doesn't, it breaks your heart and you unheart it? Unheart wow! It. <laughs> Jeez, man, your life is filled with pain. Sometimes the video doesn't <laughs> help me, and I still go to the campaign page. Depends how interested I am in the theme Yeah, for me. Uh, because it, like, if the cam- if the video is like, just like a cartoon of something and doesn't really explain the game or show the game, I'm yeah. just like... So I quickly go to the campaign, and I see what it looks like, and if it doesn't pique my interest, and just briefly look at the top part, I'm just like, gone. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I uh, I've watched like one video, maybe two. Oh, wow. oh, really? I've, and I've backed eighty. 80 Steve, I know there's more than one besides back this project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, back this project. Is, I do that hard thing <laughs> too. I do that hard thing too. But he just starts to keep it to pay for it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much true. Yeah. So okay. that's my number nine. It's Fantastic Factories by Joseph Z. Chen, self-published. <laughs> nice, sweet, nice, nice. Okay, on to our number eight. My number eight. Was just recently announced as well. I'm so glad we waited to do this. <laughs> so my number, this thing, it doesn't even have a BGG entry yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was just, like, announced, like, within the week. It is from Ravensburger as well, which I did not know from looking at the box. Um, just found out recently. It is called Horrified. Okay. It is the Universal Movie Monsters. Oh, yeah, in yeah. In a board game. Okay. And I just saw them talking about this, trying yeah. to defeat the monster. So I was just looking up what monsters are actually in the game. Let me see here. Um, it was the Wolfman, Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein. That's cool. Uh, the Invisible Man. Um, and they all have miniatures, like oh, detailed right. miniatures. Yep. Is Invisible um, Man just space? It is. That's it's got like grass and stuff on the ground. Ah! When I saw ah! that, it's got the creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula. Mm. Nice. Um, so, the Wolfman, I'm assuming. Yep, the Wolfman was one of them. Yep. Yeah, so I love like horror movies yeah, and horror yeah. theme. I saw that and I was like, oh, oh, oh. because I mean, it's just. Those horror movies, I love. Not much else, but I do love horror themes. Yeah. 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 
But I am very excited for that. There's not a ton of info on it yet. Besides that, the players will work together to try and defeat one yeah. of the monsters. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I and think I remember that seeing some. a lot of monsters in the base box. Yeah. If each one's like a separate type of game, it doesn't leave a lot of like a ton of room though for adding monsters. You right. know what I mean? If you well, keep I think within the mummy that, was one even too. So yeah, it literally it was, covers I think all of the universal. Yeah, all the ones yeah, you consider yeah. the the traditional ones. Anyways, yeah. you know, like unless it's son of cousin of yeah of bride of. Maybe, that, maybe that's what they wanted to do, was just cover all of them. Maybe, yeah, them. all games don't need expansions, right? Yeah. So. No, 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 no. I, I guess my I guess my only concern is, is uh, having, having seen the, uh, and I don't really think this is the case, but having seen the, uh, what was it, the uh, Labyrinth game? Isn't that what we tried that was? Yeah. Mm, hot terror. That was not from Ravensburger, though. No, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Ravensburger, I, I mean, they yeah. had the Jurassic Park game that came out last year. Yeah, yeah. Villainous were the yeah, bigger yeah, no, two. Yeah, but. Franchise type. Do games? you know what worked on that? The Water Workshop worked on that. And they had big killer uh, robots. They worked on giant killer robots. Uh, uh, they worked on uh, um, the game he said. Giant oh, killer robots. They made the miniatures. Or they something, made the right? miniatures for uh, yeah the, for, for Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Oh, for Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't make the game. No, that no. game was. Oof. Yeah, not not particularly special. But yeah. yeah, this this sounds really cool. I I saw a blurb about it, but I didn't follow it up because I hadn't heard much. But yeah, that sounds real. That sound real cool. Yeah, I, I saw I'd the be, box and I was like, I need it now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you, that's definitely one I definitely want to try. Yeah, uh, high dibs. So <laughs> that was horrified mm -hmm. from I believe it's going to be Ravensburger. Ravensburger. So, yeah. Nice, nice, Sweet. nice. They get a lot of good stuff. Well, they've been around for quite a while though. Yeah, they so, yeah. They've been making puzzles for fifty years. They've really stepped up their Ooh. board games with this yeah. stuff this last few years. <laughs> I'm glad in this. Wait, wait, wait. That just tipped me. So what? What number is going to be a puzzle? <laughs> what, which yeah. one? Come on, come on, Josh. Tell us. Number three is a puzzle. <laughs> wow, wow. I'm super excited for this new puzzle. Hey, it's fifty feet by <laughs> by, by one inch wide. Oh, it's, it's just actually edge. <laughs> it's just edges. It's no, like there's, a, there's a Disney. There's a Disney uh, one that's that. like fifty feet by ten feet or something. Doing the edges first in this puzzle won't help you because it's all edges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. Okay. So uh, eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. So my number eight is uh, one I heard a lot of good buzz about last year. And uh, so I'm waiting to see what happens with it this year, and that would be uh, Colossal Games uh, Mezzo. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about uh, the game in general, and um, that like Vassal said that it would that it's one of the, his most anticipated games of the year. You know, as far as like it was really into it. The, the miniatures look cool. The the stuff in it just look like looks really, really, really well done. Colossal Games has done some pretty good stuff. Western Legends is very nice, oh, um, yeah. and and a few other of those things, and um, you know, like everything that I've heard about the game has just been like very, very well. Uh, uh, a lot of mythology stuff, which I'm very into. Uh, a lot of you know, gods walk among the tribes, each hungering for the devotion that gives them form. So literally, you're trying to help keep the gods in form and that type of stuff. Mm. It, look, it sounds really great. Um, I want to say that uh, I want to say there's was, there was somebody else besides from Vassal that was saying that they really liked it too. I can't remember if it was somebody who's on Secret Ball, but either way, uh, just production's supposed to be really good. Um, again, I, I, I feel like the Western Legend stuff is well. It's not. You know, it's it's not uh, Kingdom Death or Games Workshop. You know, it's good. You know, like yeah, so, yeah. real solid uh, equipment. And I feel like that they uh, they have uh, um, you know the opportunity to have another you know a couple of hits right in a row like that. And that could be really big for them. So yeah, yeah. Mezzo. Josh. Oh yeah, it's mine. It's mine. Yeah. It is. It is. You, you chose, chose the order. order. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Read more specifically. Number eight. For me, is Wingspan by mm. Stonemaier Games. Oh! Yes, yes, oh. yes. Card-driven, engine-building mix. Think of Terraforming Mars meets Gizmos. I don't want to think about Terraforming Mars. Yeah. But you like Gizmos because you have that building and whatnot. Oh, engine building is fun. Yep, engine building, uh, card drafting. Yeah. They said it's much more of an engine builder than, like, you know, every yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Beautiful components. I, I don't own it. I haven't played it. But 
I'm yeah. excited for it. Yeah, it just came out very early this yep, year. Yep, yep. So. My understanding of their it's hard to find now. Yeah, because they didn't produce enough copies for the amount of he didn't, that came. Yeah, he didn't expect. He said he. Uh, I was listening to Dice Tower on the way home today, and they were saying that he wasn't. Sh- well, Stegmeyer himself didn't uh, design the game. It's designed by another person. But the thing was, is they weren't confident because of the thing that it would well, really yeah, sell yeah. well. So they did a little less of an order than they they really should have, and it's like that. But yeah, that looks, that looks yep, good. Yep, yep. It's uh, got amazing components. Um, yeah, that's Wingspan from Stonemaier Games. Uh, that's my number eight. Okay. All right, on to our number sevens. My number seven is from a company called RKT, which I think is supposed to be Rocket Science Games. Rocket uh, RKT yeah, I'm pretty sure Science Games. Right. Okay. It is programming, tile placement, and racing, Ooh. and it is called Drift Kings. Oh, cool. Um, okay. I don't have a ton of info on it. I was looking at it at BGG, and it looks amazing. Like, you're actually, like, drifting around. Like, you're, you're like, kind of laying out what tiles you're going to play that game, and mm-hmm. then you kind of drift around, cir- like, the oh, corners nice. and stuff like that. Like, so you're like almost, a, like, creating the track as you do the tile. I think as so. You're doing That's it, what it yeah. kind of sounded like, cool. yeah. So You don't see many programming games out there, either. <clears throat> but you, not a ton, and programming racing is very interesting. You know, like in that style, someone thing, plays yeah. a tile before you do, and it jacks up the track. Well, I, I would, <laughs> or they get in your way. It, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, but. it really that it like I can kind of imagine how that looks, and that that is very interesting. Because what I'm thinking of is, uh, we played Snow Tails, right? Yeah, yeah. So now imagine oh, if you okay, created yeah. the track as Snow ta- as, you as you were playing played, the cars yeah. and stuff out, right? Yeah. So now you have to be able to play the track in the you know like that. That could be pretty interesting. Yeah, 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 that sounds really. So I saw that and I was like, "Oh, I like racing games." And there's not a lot out there for racing games that are. I've only really played one programming game though. So, <laughs> given the fact that I don't know how well I would like the idea of you know like get like like when we played uh, Max versus Max Minions. versus Minions, you know we, yeah. we 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 were actually pretty good about avoiding each other, like relatively yeah. speaking, you know. And that's the thing, but. We were working together. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. 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 So it could be interesting yeah, not could, working together. Yeah, yeah. For better or worse, you yeah. know what I mean? I, but I I want to try it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. So it is Drift Kings from Rocket Science Games. Awesome. Awesome. Um all right. So the next one is one that um I've heard of a lot of stuff like okay, so I haven't heard a ton of stuff about. But my recent experiences with other games from the same company and by I believe the brother of this designer, um, have made me super excited about trying something by them. Uh, the game is uh, pa- Pax Transhumanity, and it's by Matt Eklund, and it's from Sierra Madre Games. So we played Neanderthal on yeah. the on the thing, yeah. and big, heavy, you know, crazy game, you know, and that type of stuff. Uh, though it technically was like, given the fact that it has that they have such a reputation for being so so big and heavy. I didn't feel like that game was, like, crazy. It's just there was so many options, right? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of things. Well, this game is kind of the reverse of that. It, the The idea being uh, it's worker placement, and I bet you it plays relatively similar because from everything I've seen. But the difference is, is imagine that all the doomsayers and everybody else is wrong, and instead of the future turning into, like, some kind of dystopian, terrible wastelands or whatever else, what if between free market stuff and, and the general positive upbringing of people, the future turns into utopia for everybody. Mm-hmm. And that's it. So it's that's so cool. it's like everything is actually really good in a future. And so and and it's by Matt Matt Eklund and my understanding is is that while I've never played any of his games, I'm sure that it'll have some similarities to the way those other games played or the other game played, and I'm fairly certain that it will um, have that like everything I've seen will have that big deep you know stuff. He's the there's a, other Pax games, Pax whatever, yeah. uh, uh, Pax Humana or something, and then something else. Those are ones that he had designed and then gone through, and this is kind of like the next version of that, kind of like Neanderthal and Greenland. Yeah, they're similar games, but a different thing. I, I man, I I've gotten on a kick lately where I really like those big crunchy super heavy games, <laughs> and I'm super excited to try it. So. Uh, Pax Transhumanity, uh, Matt Eklund, and Sierra Madre Games. Cool. Gosh. <coughs> My number seven is Sleeping Gods 
by Red Raven Games or Brian Monkett. Mm, uh, nice. Yes, yes. So, you love Red Raven Games. Yes, yes, yes. So it is a one to two player game though this time. Oh. Uh, think of like near and far, but the campaign could go from sixty minutes to twenty five hundred minutes. Hmm. Okay. So okay. you can do a shorter campaign or really, really, really long out. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's 40 some hours, yeah. 50 hours. Yeah. So yeah. same same idea. They have the book where you go through the book and you have mm-hmm. stories all in it and everything. It's just a different theme. It's uh, uh, with sleeping gods. So on the cover, it's like a, a boat on, a, on the ocean and there's like a god coming up from Ooh. underneath the ocean. That's cool. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So, I love all his games. I think I own most of them. So, yeah, some and of you them. Love them. Some, yeah, some of them you've, you've even played right. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, you some know, we didn't we, <laughs> we didn't finish the entire game playing playing it wrong. You know what I mean? Oh, well, we did. Um, you know, so. that happens sometimes. Yeah, it, it does. So, no, like, no, it's, make my yeah, game. yeah, yeah. You often play 12, 13 games in a row that with, wrong, before realizing yeah. that you. <laughs> That it was completely wrong. Oh, I never read this part of the rule book before. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, well, you know. Hey. He, that was the time he fell asleep on the The night. channel was very young back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We didn't yeah. have anyone to correct the channel was right. yeah. Yeah. We played it, though, all the way through, and we all enjoyed it. We just yep. played I like it, it well, slightly right. wrong. It, yep. was, it, it, it was not my favorite uh, of those style games, but it was good. <laughs> it was, no, I mean... It, I like the storytelling in that game, yeah, but yeah. there was other parts that were not. Well, maybe, were, like, maybe we'll just play it one off one day. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I would love to try it. Actually, I'd love to try like two steps just to get the feel of yeah, what yeah. it was like to properly do the in between. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was my seven. number seven. Yep, uh, Sleeping Gods by Red Raven. Cool. Yeah, yeah, he is amazing. Ryan Lockett. Yeah, he's because he he's does amazing. Pretty much everything. Yeah, all his art, all his stories. Well, I think he might. He does. Some he produces. Story. He does the thing. There's a little bit of the story stuff I, that I. My understanding is he does with, like his. You if know, you the, look his at the, the book. It yeah. said who each story was written yeah, by. Yeah. A lot of them were him, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 all arts usually him, and all his art kind of transcend. Transcends. Yes, transcends style. across all of his games. Yeah, stylistically. Yep. 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 All right, on to our number six games. My number six game. <laughs> wow, that was intense. Is from Asmadi Games or. Uh, yeah, Asmodi. Not Asmodi. Not Asmodi. Asmodi. As- no. Asmodi. <laughs> right, um, right. It is a co-op storytelling game. Um, it's called 1001 Odysseys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, the art for this game looks really cool. It's like you're going to alien planets, I believe, and it's like really like pastel-y, almost like watercolor type art. Yeah. But um, I just like that the stories was yeah, my fair. favorite part of... Near and, um, far. near and far, and this game is pretty much mostly that. Yeah. So no. I think it's kind of when I first heard about it, I was like, "Oh, it kind of sounds like the Tales of Raven Tales Nights. of Raven Nights." Have you ever I've always that? wanted to play? No, I've never got to either. I don't have it, and I've yeah. always had it in my Amazon wish list, but yeah. it's almost always out of stock, yeah, now, so. um, or out of print, or whatever. So, yeah. um, and people want an arm and leg for it too. Like, yeah, they you do. Yeah. So I saw this on Kickstarter actually right now, and I was like, "Well, oh, I got to check that out," and it looks really cool. Yeah. So I'm excited for it yeah. to hopefully come this year. It says it's supposed to release this year. We'll yeah. see if they make nice. it or yeah, 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 yeah. Um But yeah, 1001 Odysseys from Esmati. Nice. Nice. Very much so. So <laughs> so this is going to be our first uh, crossover on the list. Yeah. So who is it? Who do I cross over with? Yeah? What is it? I don't remember what you said yet. Um, <laughs> Fantastic Factories. Mm. No. no. <laughs> Only because I never saw it. I didn't uh, see it okay. in the list. Sleeping Gods. No. 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 Okay. Well, what no. game does Stephen love? Oh, that you hate? Wingspan. There you go. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and actually, and again, I to me, I don't actually feel like it's going to be, even though some people have talked about it being Terraforming Mars-like, I don't know that I necessarily feel like it's going to be as much like that is it's just going to be an engine builder, not yeah, like yeah. the engine builders. Um, Elizabeth Hargrave is the actual designer. I just looked it up just to make sure that that was mm. mentioned in this. Um, and I don't know if she's a first-time designer, but I really like the idea of, uh, you know, like, I think that uh, Stonemeyer Games and Stegmeyer in particular are really one of the, 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 the best class acts of the industry. Yeah. And I love the idea, you know, like between this and My Little Side and some other things that he's willing, you know, to, to, to get with somebody and really do something. And I'm sure he's done other things that I just don't realize. You know, I, I haven't played a lot. But, but the point is, is he does good stuff for the industry. He definitely cares about the, you know, the the, 
the, the direction the people are going, you know, and and um, and I watched Rattles run through the, Rattles run through the game and some other stuff. And I mean, I was, I think the components are great. Yep. I think it, again, different theme, very different theme, which I like the idea of that. You know, just compared to like general. And they put thought into it, so each bird is actually in yep. its in its yep. section of. Yeah. 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 There's and there's it's a like bunch of different things. Correct. Yeah, yeah. 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 Correct. And there's little blurbs on the bur- on, on each. Bird. Right. The teacher stuff. Yeah. In- interestingly, um, one of the things that's that's really cool is is if you have a bird of prey, and that bird of prey, you can actually have it pick off a smaller bird as one of its actions to give to make food out of it, mm-hmm. right? And it would be one of your own birds, like so you can feed it if you don't have a normal food source. Uh, again, listening to the thing on the night started today, they were saying that uh, originally. They, you could do that to another player's board, but people found it m- just mean enough that nobody liked it when they were playing test the game because it was like yeah. the one very mean thing you could do to each other, like this directly. So, you know, so Joe, you got the nice bird over there. <laughs> My guy kills it. You know, it's oh, like, yeah. oh, you know, you decimated me. But yeah, Wingspan looks, excuse me, looks great. Um, I think it's the only thing on my list that's already out for this year. Yeah. yeah. And uh, man, everybody's talking about how mm-hmm. it's pretty solid, you know. At the very least, and it's beautiful. Cool. Wanna try it? Yep. Josh, I forgot it. Was my your favorite. number. Six. You chose the order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 Josh. Yes. You probably don't remember, but you chose the order. So my next Such game. My next game is from uh, Druid City Games. It is Title Blades: Hero of the Reef. Oh yeah. yeah. This was a Kickstarter. Is this an expansion for the? Is Title Blades? No, that's just the name of the game. Yeah, Title yeah, okay. Blades. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did not kickstart this. Oh, sadly, it was on. Like, can you late back it? You can. Oh, but I might just wait to pick it up at a con mm-hmm. in person. See if they have any, any exclusive or anything like that. You know, yeah. whatever. He's so no, salty. actually, no, no. I am. Because I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, the like, game was at the con before oh, he got God, it. That was, I, oh. I, I, but he still had to wait another year before. It literally <laughs> set like a year. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I feel the same way. <laughs> I had just got Ro- Arcadia Clutch Rogers like three weeks ago. It was at Gen Con. I could have picked it up there. I could have picked it up afterwards, like fourteen. Weeks. I've seen it at REW five different times. It just got it two oh, weeks ago. Man. Yeah. But that's fine. I finally got to play it over the weekend too. So. But in in Title Blades, you take the roles of heroes competing to be Title Blades. Uh, take place over five days and nights, gathering the needed resources. Um, to compete in challenges, and your time in uh, revri- arriving at different islands is pretty much the idea of the game. You can level up your, your titles, so they have like four wheels on each character, and you can level up like it's day part or it's night part, and a good side and a bad side, so it has like, mm. different different ways you can level your character, a lot of replayability. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's all I really know about it. And it was Title Blades, something of the something. Heroes Here's of the Royal Reef. From Druid City Games. Heroes of the Reef. Cool. Yeah. All right, number five. <laughs> My number five is another Kickstarter game. You're going to find that a lot with the... <laughs> ever, ever oh, horrified, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. Um, this is from Keymaster Games. It is a set collection uh, point-to-point movement game. That's how they, It almost reminds me of Takedo when I looked at it. Okay. And the art is beautiful, too. Nice. It is called Parks. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Uh, Patrick backed it. I backed it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It, looked, good, it just good. funded. I, I well, yeah. Actually, I, during I almost, this recording, yeah, so. I, I, I almost did back to myself, but then when I saw he had, and now that you have, I definitely yeah. glad I didn't. It <laughs> looks awesome. I love Takedo. Yeah, um, we don't get to play it enough. No, um, it's just a really relaxing game. Just kind of chill. Mm. Takedo. Is I've never played. Across Japan. I've never played the crossroads thing with it. You know, where you add the extra direction to the Takedo. Oh, I don't I've never got. Yeah. No, and that's supposed to make it way like a big step better. But I love animals. I think the national parks are something that are awesome too. And this is like, yeah. I think some of the money for this went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah money for this is going to the national. Yeah, yeah there's the, the the people who did the game went and visited national parks to make sure that it was pro- that, that it was properly done. I heard the brothers Murph talk about it. I've heard okay. the, uh, but they weren't the ones that actually mentioned that. I think that was. Uh, uh, it was either Vassal or the Secret Cabal talking about it. Actually, like a lot of people are talking about this game. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited for so it. I'm very excited for it. It looks really cool, and it yeah. reminded me of Takedo. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, I'm in. 
So I'm excited for it. Hopefully it does come this year. Do you remember who who actually made, who's uh, designed it? Designer? I didn't get the designer. No, I just got the publisher's name. Yeah, Keymaster no. Games! Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. I just, uh, it seems like it's somebody that I know, and I can't remember who. That Josh Bernard. <laughs> is the designer. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm let's tomorrow. lower let's lower expectations. <laughs> yeah, exactly. let's, let's yeah. So Parks from Keymaster Games was my number five. Nice. All <laughs> nice, right, nice. Steve. Number five. Okay, so number five. Uh, this is a game. My my number five is a game that, like my uh, uh, like Century, I super anticipate the game, but I find it so highly likely that I'm going to enjoy it that my anticipation isn't quite as big as the ones that I'm less sure of. Um, uh, by, uh, designed by Frederick Henry, and it's uh, Monolith Games, and it's uh, Batman. Got the city. Yeah, yeah. Um, I backed it. Did you backed off? it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, you have backed a few things that I didn't back, but either way, uh, I I have oh. Conan. I've liked Con- I, I like Conan a lot. The two times I've gotten to actually play it, um, I love the little river system thing, and and from everything I've heard. Batman one is very similar, but in a better sense. Um, the yeah, the down the only the one downside of uh, Conan that a lot of people joke about is the fact that uh, Conan is far superior to everybody else that you play as a hero. So uh, yeah, I've kind of heard that. Like, yeah, Conan's yeah. just like I will kill everything, and everyone's like yeah. now now in my <laughs> now in my experience, it wasn't so much that, but I've only gotten to play it a couple times, so maybe right. it's different, you know. But that's how Conan uh, was too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you're right, to some extent, that's very true. Um, and uh, especially in the books and stuff. But but Batman is supposed to be more even. Um, I as much I, I love Conan, but I like Batman that much more. Um, there's a lot, like really cool miniatures. I did get in on the Kickstarter, so I got to get most of the things that I that I wanted. Well, there's some awesome miniatures in Conan too. Not just just as a generalized statement, but the thing is, is I I didn't get into that. I you know I yeah. got I didn't get into that during you the Kickstarter. So I didn't get to get all right? of the things that I would have probably personally picked had I. And getting the extra box of that crap now is like a billion dollars, and I can't get it to the table. So why? I can't imagine I'm not going to get Batman to the table. And you're the only other person. I don't think Patrick or any of them did. And I don't. And I know that like my other buddies Jerry and that they didn't either. So I feel really good about the fact that I probably will actually get to the table because mm. I know too many people there. Yeah, the game is going to be amazing. Uh, my number five, all the way, hardcore Batman. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dioramas were so great at Gen Con last year. Oh, man. So oh, awesome. Man. They had yeah, entire yeah. cities built. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the whole underground thing yeah, with the, the penny and everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. It was, it was great. All right, Josh, what's your number five? Another crossover. Gen Ooh! 5. Number five, Ooh! yes. Uh, Plan B Games uh, is a century and new world. Oh, cool, 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 uh, excellent. Yeah. I like all those century games. I'm still waiting for the Gollum edition for the second one. Uh, I have a feeling that if they're going to do that, they won't do it until the, this third one comes yeah, out, yeah. and they see where it's at. And then maybe yeah, yeah. it's some kind of special. But thing. third and final game to the Century Series, Resource Trading Mechanisms found <coughs> in the Century Series with a worker placement mechanism with a twist, it says. Yeah, yeah. So, don't know the twist yep. yet. That's... Nope. Okay. Yeah, but that's century. Do you know the twist? No, so no. Twist. I, 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 twist. Well, you sounded the. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you were like. I thought you were signaling that you knew the twist. I know the twist. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Don't know it yet. Uh, it's a but, sister. Uh, oh, wait, a off. century new world by Plan B. Uh, it's it's a good game. I like it's the so game. Hardcore, yeah. We played Century Spice Road a ton of times because it's such Incorrectly. a uh, yeah. incorrectly, but yeah. 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 <laughs> Enough said. It's it's well, it's a, it's a it's a it's a good entry level game, and it's just a good game in general. It is. It's a common theme around here. <laughs> we like to play games way. incorrect, C- yeah. correct or incorrect. <laughs> There's a gray area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, our number four games. We're getting close to the the best of the best here. What? All of them, the best of the best. Oh, okay. Let's top ten. Well, the most anticipated of the most anticipated. There you go. There we go. There's thousands of games that come out every year. There, yeah, there was yeah. a lot of pages I had to go through. Yeah. I'm going to start hiding my list from Josh so you can't see it. This game, I should probably make it so I can see it, <laughs> is a major IP game from Fantasy Flight Games. You have a guess which one it is? <laughs> wait, wait, say it again. It's Flight a major game. IP uh-huh. game being released by Fantasy Flight. 
Uh, is it the Star Wars one? The new Star Wars? It is one? not. No, it's not. It is one. Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Journeys in Middle Earth. Yeah, Journeys in Middle Earth. Uh, this uh, game yeah. looks fantastic. Yeah. It is a co-op. It's app-driven campaign game. It's deck building, but you're building the deck together, and then you're all drawing from the same deck. Like yeah. Like yeah. 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 Um, it, it's supposed to probably be like the next... I, I heard a lot of people say it was kind of like... Um, Oh, the video game game. Not Doom, but uh, the other one they made. Uh, waste. Oh, it's a it's a wasteland in the future. You get bottle caps. Oh, uh, oh, Fallout. Fallout. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. All I could think of was Wasteland. I heard like Wasteland. Yeah, uh, waste, I was like, well, yeah, I was like, Wasteland okay, the game? Yeah, yeah Wasteland the Borderlands? Borderlands? <laughs> but yeah, so it's supposed to be, I heard, like like that, but... <laughs> Matt, Max the, the game? Yeah. <laughs> um, but I like, I like Lord of the Rings. Yes. I like campaign games. And you like deck builders that throw a twist. And I like deck builders that... Uh, especially you know what? I like co-op I feel, deck I, builders. I was going to say, I feel like I part of what you said... Yeah, I was going to say, I hope co-op, because I don't... I What non-co-op deck builder do you actually really enjoy? Clank. And that's it, isn't it? Trains. Trains. Yeah? That's all that I've played. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lies! Lies! Okay, you. who likes DC deck builder? I, I, was, I, I, I was thinking Mystic Veil vale would be another Mystic one. Mystic Veil, vale, yeah, There's a couple of but you don't like a lot of them. That's decks. what I'm saying, you don't generally like them, yeah. It was Machi Koro. Well, Legendary is a co-op. Machi Koro's not a deck builder. Yeah, and not, yeah, not a, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a dice game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Le- and Legendary is technically game. co-op unless you play that stupid yeah. po- counter Whoever points. Whoever the most point, which I, Josh always played. I got the most points! I don't mind. Wait, so, does, so, so does my son. Apparently all 16-year-old brains <laughs> like that type of... This stuff. We no. won as a team, but I won more. But I won more. Yeah. Won the most. We lost, and my son wanted to count up who had the most points, ah. so he could still prove that he won. So, wow! Like, I, was, like, I was not the reason we lost. Uh, you yeah, all yeah, were. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Lord Embers. But yeah, that was uh, Lord of the Rings: Journeys in Middle Earth from Fantasy Flight Games. And you, 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 deck number. builder, and it's you got a twist and whatever, right? Well, yeah, it's yeah. a campaign game where you're like. Yeah. In the bag as stuff. It, but how many? How many can play it? Is it only a couple? I think it's up to four. Is it? Uh, yeah. Cool. yeah. I, don't I like that. It's after too. I like that. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Um. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So my number four is another game that could easily be at the top of my list. Um. But to be honest. <laughs> um. While it's like looks super crazy and whatever else, the stuff that beat it out is stuff that I'm I'll be shocked if I don't love. So this you know this is kind of like the last of my unknown territory, you know, kind okay. of thing. Um, but uh, but it's exciting, uh, big game, um, Awaken Realms, uh, oh. Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Oh. Uh, which I did. Yeah, ba- I backed that. It's supposed to come out this year, and yeah. I almost put it on my list. I was like, there's no way. They're gonna and hit two on nineteen. They, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of things that like from what I've seen and the things that they're talking about like a, like I I don't know like I don't whether it does or it doesn't and if it doesn't that's fine yeah I, It'll I, you be know a like this big game for next year yeah <laughs> I, I mean I'm, it's not it'll be even more me. anticipated in twenty twenty yeah it'll be hugely anticipated at that point but but actually I'll be hugely anticipating because I'll end up probably playing the prototype of it at Gen Con this year mm, if yeah, I can help. Okay, like can. I'll purposely be looking for that if it's not right. coming out. But the thing about it is, is uh, amazing miniatures. Uh, they're the I, I like the the I, I love King Arthur stuff anyways. Like that was one I've always liked anyways. And I know it's not like a direct translation of that, but it is you know like kind of like like this crazy version of that where it's all kind of dark and pseudo whatever. Yeah. And I back this miniatures one as well. look good. Yeah, I like yep. Area it. control. It's big. Area it's control. like well, that's that's <laughs> it literally yeah. it's, the scripter is. Uh, area or area movement, cooperative play, deck uh, pool building, modular board, pressure luck, role play. Uh, I think outside of that, it really like that pretty much encompasses eighty percent of all mechanics. It's you know like what a mean? big like, book of like stories. Yeah, and, yeah, and a bunch stuff. of crazy stuff yeah. like that. And it looks it cool. looks cool. It looks interesting. I uh, uh, the only concern I have at this point is is that uh, <laughs> is is Getting it to the table, you know what I mean. That's literally the one thing that I'm not sure. You you back to two, Joe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so that that's my. I have a slight concern of that, but I'm hoping that it just looks so crazy and cool, and that type of thing that that like 
my other group is, you know, into that. Because, you know, hopefully I'll get to play with you guys. So. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> Awakened Realms, Tainted Grail, The Fall of Apple. Okay. Josh. Lee. Number four. <coughs> Sorry. Is that it? That's <laughs> yes. your number four? Yeah. Is that a Cthulhu game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number four. <laughs> He's summoning the great old one now, Joe. Yes. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. So my number four is from... Uh, my number four is from Burnt Island Games. It is on Kickstarter right now. It is in the Hall of the Mountain King. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Yeah, so you play as trolls. I just saw you back this. Yeah, so you play as trolls rebuilding your abandoned kingdom under the mountain and... The halls of the Mountain King. Um, pretty much, you're carving out great halls as you raise toppled statues. Um, it's like worker placement, dig dug. From yeah, what break I saw in the worker video. places. So gameplay is driven by innovative cascading production system. So when you play characters um, at the top, it cascades down. So whatever you play on top, everything underneath of it is affected. So all your um, trolls or whatever are affected. Uh, there's timing and tactics. Um, and there is, like you were saying, like Dig Dog, you are digging a... Yeah. Yeah. It looked pretty cool. What, what is it? Polyonymal? Yeah, polyominoes. Like, um, think, think of Tetris yeah, pieces. Yeah, Tetris pieces. And, yeah. or, and or, if you're not familiar with that, Patchwork or Feast for Odin yeah, or yeah. Baron Park or... So, pretty much you all start on the map together in different sections. And you're the all last all... 11 UA Rosenberg games. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, pretty, that, pretty much you're digging to unearth these totems and resurrect. Pretty excited. I, I backed it. Uh, it has nine days left. Um, right. When this was being recorded. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nine, I have nine days left when this uh, is Yeah, recorded. rush out in the next nine days or less. Nine days right now. Like, if you're lucky, you might have like one or two days <laughs> yeah. to back this thing yeah. once this um, releases. But so. there's a del deluxe edition and a regular edition. I think the regular edition is like $40 and the deluxe edition is $60. Yeah. Um, has a lot of components, a lot of... Really good comparison. Really good deluxe edition. Components. They look There's amazing. Metal tokens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everything's upgraded to plastic, obviously. Yeah. You know, yeah. It just looks sweet. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah. back it. Yeah. I just saw it. Yeah. Looks interesting. I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Saw, you, you, you saw it and you're like, did you back this? I was like, yep. He's like, good. I was getting ready to message you about it. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, wow, this looks good, but I don't want to back because I have like a couple others yeah. I'm back here now. I was like, I wonder if Josh has seen this. And then you're like, and I saw it pop up. Yeah. Josh is back. Yeah, yeah I, I just like, thought it too. I was oh, like, oh, it's like we were like one brain, like the yeah. hive mind was working there. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited for to try that out too. Yeah. So. so that's my nice. number four in the hall of the Mountain King by Burnt Island Games. Burnt Island Games. Cool. All right, on to our number threes. Josh is doing origami over here, but that's okay because he decided to go last. Yeah. Um, but uh, number three. These are the most anticipated most games anticipated. of the year. Mm -hmm. for, for me. Oh, yeah. Mine's yeah. from Simon. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Simon games coming out this year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help. yeah, yeah. This uh, is a PvP <laughs> campaign game with dice and cannibalism. Oh. Love. Love, yes. Yeah, love. No, it's hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, Based off the graphic novel, uh, it is going to be brutal. You... Um, have like a certain amount of people, members of your tribe, I think it's like 10 or 11 that you start with the game with, and as you play through the campaign, if someone captures your member and takes them back and cannibalizes them, eats them, or whatever, tortures them, they're gone the rest of the campaign. Like, you are less people. So you have to really, like, watch your, your units, or your team members, whatever, make sure yeah. you, you don't let them die. It is one-on-one. -on -one. It's like a one-on-one -on -one game. I think they added a 2v2 version as well, uh -huh. as part of the Kickstarter. But... Let's be honest. You, you're going to play one on one, and, and if and there's probably about a sixty percent chance that it's best as a one on one and two probably. two is an afterthought. Yeah, you know? yeah like, probably. Just but, insane. Um, it is brutal, and, and the box is giant. I can't <laughs> wait to watch you guys play it on video because I've, <laughs> I've heard it's a legacy game, and you have to actually eat them as you're uh, you know as you <laughs> play through it. You know? Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to just keep killing Josh's guys. Oh. I'm glad I got the metal upgrade components. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm tinny. <laughs> yeah. mm, but, uh, I mean, it got a yeah. lot of flack when it came out because it was kind of a Gory. rough theme. And then the video for the Kickstarter was pretty high schoolish. A lot of people. Yeah, like that, and, but you know, they went with a certain direction, and for better or worse, and some people would say for worse. But it still made a crap ton of money on Kickstarter. It sure, has a ton of. 
Kickstarter exclusive figures and stuff like that. Yeah. And this game was actually completely Kickstarter exclusive. They said they will never be selling it like retail. Right, right, right. So that Same was as, uh, yeah. The FOMO years. was real. Yeah, 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 for sure. When this yeah, was out, so yeah. Um, I'm very, but it should be coming pretty soon here in the next couple weeks, I yeah. think. So yeah, you and Tony Topper. People, <laughs> to people have already started getting there. So. I know. Yeah. yeah. But the box is like the size of Josh. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it is an amazing box. I, you know, like, given, given we've gotten some really big games in either the three of us, yeah. this is like a really this big game. probably be the biggest, yeah. Yeah, stupid so, big. Very excited for Hate from Simon, my number three most anticipated game of the year. <sighs> okay, so my number three is technically two games, but once you guys hear what it's about, you'll understand why it's two games and why it makes sense. Um, this is probably overall one of my, this is going to be a piece to one of my, and I guess you could call this an expansion. This would be one of the expansions. Um, uh, kind of it is. Um, and that would be uh, Time Stories Madam and mm. um, and then uh, Time Stories uh, Revolution Midsummer's Night, which I believe is the first one of the blue boxes that's coming out. And the thing is, is while some people have lost a certain amount of interest in the game, you know, like there's there's a lot of people who are mm, iffy on whatever and everything else. I feel like even their low end stuff is still like a seven and a half, eight, and that's only like one or two of them. And I think the last one, Expedition, was amazing. The the pirate one was amazing. Uh, uh, I feel like there was way more amazing ones than there were not, you yeah. know. And again, my opinion and whatever else, but my group, my the group that I'm playing with, all feel that way. And I'm excited to see how they finish it up in Madam, and I'm also super excited to see how it changes when they go to the blue story arc. Yeah. You know, because that's not played in any particular order. At least one of the ones that says it's scheduled for the blue story arc, not that Midsummer's uh, Eve one, but one of the other ones said that it's based off of a um, fan-built uh, scenario that had been out before, and it happens to be one that was uh, created by Tantrum House, who mm -hmm. do uh, some of the board game breakfast uh, mm -hmm. sections. And they put on uh, Tantrum Con, which is like just over recently, like just gave, just was around. So it's like kind of this like, I'm super excited to see how it ends. I'm super excited to see how the next piece comes. And I can tell you right now, even if like I don't necessarily like where the blue one goes, and even if the last of the white box is not amazing, I still feel like it's one of the is it's easily one of the best sets of games I've ever played easily yeah. so many good like i can remember so many jump up and down moments can't wait cannot wait for yep it. time stores is awesome yeah i forgot to look for these yep or they probably would have been on my list yeah too, so. I, I, I mean there's actually supposed to be i think one more blue box also out this year wow. but the thing about it is is uh which again i think was that tantrum house one uh and again because of the nature of time stories i literally don't know anything about either one of them like even the setting yeah so i'm not because i'm not interested in it um, I'd rather, you know, have it come up on its own, but yeah, Time Stories is super high on my list and it had to be on there. Yeah. Number three. Josh. Okay. 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 My number three is by Renegade Games. It is Paladins of the West Kingdom. So it is the sequel to Architects of the West Kingdom. Yeah. Which Does is Renegade worker. Games put those out? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. did not know that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So they're worker placement games. I like worker placements. I have not got to play. Have you played any of the Raiders shipwrights? All those, either? No. No, and I haven't either. Raiders has been considered that yep, decent yep. one. Yep. Architects looks great. The Architects things I've seen amazing. that yep. and Paladins. The I saw a little bit about that. Yep, yep. Really good. Uh, I wanted to pick Architects. It was on my Christmas wish list, but I didn't get it. Uh, I'm sure it's on my birthday. You'd only got the expansion for it anyway. Put a Christmas star in the comments for Josh. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Architects is on my uh, now my birthday list. <laughs> Every time Josh complains of, of Angel gets his wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yes, Paladins of the West Kingdom is uh, the sequel to Architects of the West Kingdom. It's a worker placement. I'm excited. All right, on to our number two games. <laughs> number two. So we have some more crossover here, Josh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. My number two game is Architects 
Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, them are happy because <laughs> Batman is protecting oh, yeah. you. Oh, nice, nice, nice job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Me, 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 me. Uh, Monolith came out with this. It's like the successor to Conan, yeah, but yeah. thrown with a Batman theme. Batman's my favorite superhero. Um, so <laughs> Batman, Batman Gotham City here. Chronicles. <laughs> it's 1v all. It's dice. It's action points. Um... It's action programming. It's I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. The minis are yeah. sweet. Um, I didn't actually go all in on this because like I don't I didn't need the Batmobile. I don't think and I saw it though. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, it's yeah. like this big. Yeah, it's huge. It's like it's, a, huge. it's huge. Even Vassal said he doesn't know if he's gonna play with it. He's just gonna put it on a wall. He doesn't need like he mm -hmm. doesn't even necessarily care. But it's the Batmobile. You know, like why not? I didn't get it either. Uh, I didn't even. I, don't, I think you actually have one or two more expansions than I got. Like, I, mean, you, I don't remember yeah. what I backed. Yeah, I was just... but I got two. I think of four possible or five possible, okay. like including the Batman. Oh man, yeah, I can't wait. But I'm very wait. excited. I yeah. love Batman. I've always wanted to try Conan, but never a chance. No, I'll just try it as Batman. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, um, I will mention the exact same thing that you just mentioned to him. That's not my fault that you haven't <laughs> got to try Conan. I know. I That's. Know. Uh, definitely not mine. It's your fault, Steve. Yeah, exactly. You, you never bring all, it over. Yeah, all those times <laughs> that I brought it over and you guys went, like, nah, and I was like, yeah, it's tiring carrying but, that sucker in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this one is two boxes. Yeah, and minimum, it's nah. the hero's box and the villain's box. So now, if I would have had the full thing of Conan, it would have been that. Oh, okay. there was there was a second whole box wow. that had six more Conans in it and like eight other people, like just. So it many Conans. Quadrupled the amount of boards that, like, there were three extra boards in the extra box. Wow, man. It's crazy. I don't know. So I am very excited. My number two, Batman Gotham City Chronicles by Monolith. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good call. Good call. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to name the designers of this game, and I want to see if you guys maybe know who it is. Okay. Uh, Thiago Arano. Uh, Guillermo Goulart. Fred Perret? No? 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 Is it Perret or Pierre? Perret? Perret. And the Tiago sounds really familiar. Mm -hmm. TMNT. No. Okay. No. No. I no, but know. he does have miniatures. I say some and they're shorter like miniatures. The shorter yeah. miniatures. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did leave out one. Uh, Eric Lang. Eric Lang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it Starcadia Quest? Oh, Starcadia Quest! Yeah. Well, heck yeah, it is. So, so Arcadia Quest is probably, it's got to be close to the modern game that I've played more hours of than anything else. I've played every campaign except for Riders, which we just started and got through three scenarios of on Saturday, and though we may reset that, and the <laughs> one, and one, and the, like, one of the expansions, but we played all the other ex things. I love that game. I love the feel of the game. I love the exploding dice are amazing. The whole game is really good. The one thing that, I, and not everybody agrees with this, but the one thing that I think is a little superfluous about the game is that invariably I hardly ever use my, comparatively use my third hero. You only get two in Stark Eddie Quest. You have a different set of stuff. It's that, it's a little bit different board setup. And my buddy Jerry backed it, and he backed it to the point where he also got the conversion kit so you can use your Arcadia Quest stuff with Star Arcadia Quest or vice versa or something like that. Yeah. And apparently backed everything. And so the other reason why I anticipated so much is I didn't have to buy any of it, so I didn't have to play it all. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm super excited for this game. Um, it really is, I mean, I have to have played at least... Probably sixty hours of that game over the last like two two years. Arcadia Quest is fabulous. It's so good. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. It's so. There's just there's so many like little funny sudden moments and everything else. You know, yeah. it's like oh, you're attacking me. Let me roll my twelve dice. Yeah, yeah. Defense. You get twelve dice. Let, let me roll my three and the bang, bang. Yeah. And literally, one side goes off and goes off and goes off and goes off and. Explodes. You said, yeah, and, 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 and suddenly. Oh, by the way, whenever I get an exploding symbol, I do two damage. Right, right, right. One, I, 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 like, oh, one of the guys gosh. that I was playing in this last one, every time he had an exploding defense dice, he healed. So for every so for every critical defense you roll, you healed before you took damage. So you could still die afterwards if you took too much spell, but 
man, I was like, oh, this guy's pretty good. You know, like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's just so many cool things. <laughs> so many cool things. Great little miniatures, great little stuff. Oh, and as a side note, I condensed everything that I have down to two big boxes, one small box, and one dragon box. Hmm. I can't believe I forgot about those games. Super, <laughs> super, super good. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Starcadia Quest, Simon, yeah. Eric Lang, and a bunch of his peers. Sweet. Okay, so Josh, you're number two. My number two is from Colossal Games. Hmm. Uh, it is Mezzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. yeah, yeah, nice. So, uh, Area Control has wooden miniatures in it. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, inspired by my mythology, players control powerful gods, and a tribe of followers of these tribes will clash for dominance, build step pyramids, and make sacrifices all in the name of their gods. Yeah. Heard amazing things about it. The <laughs> miniatures look amazing because they're made of wood. Like, they just look sweet. Yeah. yeah. Um, super excited for this. And I like the, the theme. So. Did you back this? I did not. I didn't even know I, it was I th- backable. <laughs> I think, I, I'm pretty sure that it was, and I think I did. I'd have to double check. But if not, I... Good. If super you did, happy. I don't have to buy it. <laughs> yeah. I, I will be getting it one way or the other. Yeah, I mean, yeah. literally, literally, unless it, everybody says it's a dumpster fire when it comes out. But Vassal's talked so much good about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like it's number two. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So but yeah, that's all. So another crossover. Yeah. Right. On to our number ones. Da, da, da. Dun, dun, dun. It's time for the best games. Well, the most anticipated <laughs> games of 2019. It might not be the best games of 2019. It's going to be the best game of 2019. <laughs> um, when we decided to make this list, I wrote this game down and then made the rest of the list. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I already know my I game. I knew this was going to be number one. It, nice. it hasn't been mentioned yet. It has. It has. Yeah, okay. I lied on the last one. It is Starcadia Quest. Yeah, I knew it! Yeah, I, I, I was like, yeah, yeah, no, I knew it. Yeah, Starcadia yeah, Quest is my yeah, number yeah, one. I was like, I can't Now I just need to figure that. out two through ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I knew it was going to be high on your list. I yeah, love Starcadia Quest. Yeah. It's one of my probably top five favorite games of all time. Arcadia Quest? Arcadia Quest, yeah. 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 Adia Quest. Yeah. <laughs> Quest. Quest. Anything, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 And yeah. the campaign's great. The game is so much fun to play. Lots of dice, and it's just super smooth. And I like the space theme, and I can't wait to play it even more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. I played it a lot. The first two, so. Yeah. Um, and you played uh, Mass Morrow too, didn't you? Also, or yes. Maybe, yeah, yeah. that's so. different. But yeah, that's same realm ish. No, it, it's the same. It feels so much different. World, but, but it's actually much more. It's much closer to uh, uh, Black uh, Black Plague than it. Like a, at least generally, but yeah. it stays. But well, that I'd heard that not necessarily the mechanics, but like the leveling up system is a little more like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, Starcade Quest, super hyped for it. Been hyped since I saw. I was day one backer. I was like, yeah, I was waiting. For it to launch, like it, it, if Jerry hadn't have been backing it, I would have because I have almost everything else for the yeah. other, you know. And uh, you know, Stephen will buy it at some point. No, with, <laughs> with Joe having it and my and Jerry having because Jerry is my the primary group that I play yeah, with, yeah. so yeah. I don't yeah. really have. I mean, like literally, unless I moved away, you know, that would yeah. be the only reason why I would yeah. get it. And even then, I don't know. Well, I nah, probably it is by I I. I, I have a feeling that I'm going to like the two two person thing even more than I already like yeah, everything it'll, it'll else. It'll be easier to focus on your characters. And yeah, to love or to to get them here and stuff like that. Yeah, well, that's the, that is the one negative because you can mm-hmm. kind of have somebody be a pack mule and hold on to some cool stuff that you might need in certain situations. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. If you get when you get into those higher ones and you yeah. really need a decimator or something like that that does crit bonuses for like against dragons and stuff, yeah. it's huge. But, um, yeah, I can't um, wait to see. If oh man, play yeah, it. yeah, yeah. We the saw them. You saw the miniatures, you know, yeah. like last year and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Sad. I love the chibi miniatures too. So yeah, yeah. If you don't like them, fooey. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jamie, fooey. I'm fooey. Oh, see, oh, chibis are all my nothing. Chibis yeah. are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Steve, what's your number one? Jeez. My number one. Okay, so this is been. Nope. Oh no. 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 Architects of the West Eastern Kingdom. No. <laughs> no. Did you see it? No. On my phone? No. I was asking Josh. Oh, no. yeah. He's been looking all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, a, this is an expansion. Okay. And as soon as I heard about this expansion, uh, or that, 
as soon as I heard this expansion was maybe coming last year, I was excited. Is it a game we've played? It is. It's a game all three of us have played. This was my number ten, I think. And it fell off my list when I saw the new two games come out last week. That's okay. Can I try and you guess can be it? wrong. Go ahead. Maximum Apocalypse, Cthulhu, and blah, blah, or whatever. No. Oh! Okay. Oh. I really, I was like, ooh. Nope. A game, I really enjoyed that game. A game that I think we all like even better than that game. Mm. I know I do. Oh, Clank Legacy. No. Oh. No, that was, oh, yeah, that was high on my, that was high, but I want to see what it's about, and I can't seem to get, I have so much stuff that Legacy that I'm not getting to the table that I'm not excited about a Legacy game right now, because I'm just going to get to the table. Okay. Um. No, this would be um, Food Chain Magnet, catch up oh, mechanics and other uh, expansion. That's a good game. Kevin. I want this so bad. I already love the game, right? I mean, I, I love, 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 love Food Chain Magnet. It, it's, it's probably number three, maybe number four of, of all time. Of all of anything for me. It's so great. It's so, it's so, I, I love telling people the story of you doing three times in a single game, <laughs> yeah. right? Three times. Yeah. You're like at three different points way down yeah. the line, you know, and you're like, and the thing is, is everybody I've played it with is yeah. like that, you know, like, yeah. like it's funny, like people who don't care about dry, whatever. Oh, they're on that. You know, people who don't whatever, bam, they're into it, you know, yeah. and, and I've played it at almost all the player accounts, I think. And loved it at every count, and I've loved how it works. It, I mean, it's such a good game. And I guess the big thing for me is is that um, one of my buddies that I play with that I played with fairly regularly, who owns the game himself, has essentially kind of what like, largely goes on a certain strategy tilt, and it's very difficult to to, to beat. Right, like it hasn't. Been, I've, nobody's beaten him in a couple tries at the game. And I'm sure that there's a way to do it, you know, like I'm fairly certain that there is. What I'm hoping is that this adds just one layer of breadth and or depth that then crashes that out. Like, I literally almost know nothing about it, but, and, and I it's going to be like a $70 expansion or something like that. Oh, Gotta remember oh. the base game's 100 yeah, bucks, know, right? Yeah. It's probably going to be a $70 expansion, and I'm not even going to blink an eye. I'm going to be on that as soon as I can get it. As yeah. soon as I can get it, I'm. It's a great game. It, the base it's game. actually yeah, I think yeah. available for pre-order on their site right now. Ooh. I just have not done so yet. I think Nick already pre-ordered it, and somebody else I already like. Yeah, I was about to put it into a group chat that I have with them, and and Nick's like, "Boys, get your pre-order buttons ready because you got <laughs> food chain." Like he's super down for it, right? And it's yeah. like, oh man, so good! I cannot wait. I, I, man, just there's. I can taste Ooh. lemonade and burgers. Oh, yeah. And ketchup. Kind of. Kind of. That's like that it's called ketchup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's it's, awesome. And, and there is supposed to be, like, condiments and some other things in there and different, like, additions to what it is. And I think another food type, too. Another food and a drink type. So, nice. yeah, I'm <clears throat> super excited. Yeah. Super, super excited. Yeah, because the game wasn't already complicated enough. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. It's like, well... Yes, but but be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's only complicated because you just have so many choices. Yes. You know, like, it's not like the things you're doing are particularly complex, but it's that they lead to 45 different, you know, varied outcomes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about it. All right, Josh, yeah. what is your number one? Uh, sorry. My number one is by Thunder Griff Games. Thunder Griff? Yeah, um, what is this? I know it. Um, the Artemis Project. Oh. Now go ahead, go ahead. It's a, it's a Zen-like game, Joe. Zen-like game. Yeah. Zendo? No. It is Tang Garden. Uh, Tang Garden. Uh, okay. Build the most incredible garden while balancing the elements of nature. Yes. For a very unzen man... You like Zen games. I know. <laughs> He's trying to find anything to center him, okay? Just focus me! <laughs> it, is, uh, <laughs> it is... I backed this on Kickstarter. Uh, it has tons and tons of, like, trees and statue miniatures. And it reminded me of, like, Takedo, but, like, with uh, trees with photosynthesis. And just, like, it's supposed to be all Zen-ish and... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm excited. Cool. Yeah, um, I saw that, and I was like, yeah. huh, it looks like a Josh game. Yep, yep. So you're building gardens by creating landscapes, placing the scenery, and projecting their visions through a vertical panorama. So, panor- so like, think of Takedo, but in a middle board area garden. Okay. Thing. Building the garden. Bunch of miniatures, bunch of stuff. I got everything. Doesn't matter. And it's Tang Garden. Tang Garden by Thundergriff. The orange drink. Yes, the orange drink. Tang Garden. And then we're playing it. Day one. I get it. Doesn't matter what day it is. He's not even going to learn it. No. <laughs> Bringing it over, doing yep. it. Yep. You didn't have to say that. We did. <laughs> okay? Like, that wasn't that wasn't shocking reveal or <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Jesus. What are your top anticipated games of yes. 2019? Yeah, what what's are your top incapacitated games? Incapacitated, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. Gary. Well, Gary well, what's your game? 10 most anticipated games of 2019? 10? You want them to rank 10? No, I just want number one. Yeah. Wow, you don't even want the top three? No, nope, just number one. <laughs> just number one. <laughs> but you don't want 10. You don't want... I just want one. You know Some what? Do like we do. Don't listen to him. True. And just do what you feel like yeah, down there in the comments. Yeah. Write as many of your most anticipated games in the comments as you feel like. All exactly. Exactly. Games. Just listen. Tell, tell, <laughs> tell, us why, tell us why you're not anticipating the ones that we're looking for. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you are anticipating the ones that we're looking forward to or think one of them sounds interesting, let us know if you'd like us to to play it live. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. a lot of words to get out. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's no, no. It's getting late. Yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah. No. Not really. Okay. Yeah. But the thing about it is, is yeah, we definitely are looking for that, whether it's off this list or whatever else. If you hear us talking about something and you want to see us play it, let us know. And I'm sure there'll be games announced later on this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Change I, my time. There's a little piece of me that made my, that I was going to say my number 10 is, is whatever they announced the day before Gen Con for Fantasy <laughs> Flight. Yeah. I, I, don't really mean that because it doesn't necessarily hold completely true, but I wanted to say it anyway. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, so that, holistically. <laughs> yeah. So that was our top 10 games? Yes. Mo- top 10 most anticipated games of 2019. Um, like the way I did it better. I don't know how I did it. Yeah, you did it completely backwards. But uh, that's all we have for tonight. So yes. until next time, my name is Joe. I'm Josh. I'm Steve. Do you play any games, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We've been down the bed. You're the worst. <laughs> Holy cow.